we get to compare two intriguing folk tales. The first of those is The Old Couple and the Crane. The second is Kalikan, Orphan Boy of the Sky. I'm Mr. McCoy. This is Literacy Corner. Here it comes now. Our initial folk tale is The Old Couple and the Crane, and as you immerse yourself in this tale, be listening for the lesson that can be learned. In Japan, some winters ago, an elderly couple lived a modest life on the edge of a forest. One snowy morning, the old man went to the forest to cut firewood. In the forest, he encountered a beautiful crane trapped in a hunter's trap. Out of pity, the old man used his axe to free the crane. That evening, the old man and his wife heard a knock at the door. A beautiful young woman stood on their doorstep. The snow is falling too heavily and I cannot make it to town, the young woman said. Will you kindly let me stay here for the night? The old couple did not have much, but they were kind souls. They welcomed the young woman into their home, shared their dinner, and gave her a warm room in which to sleep. The next morning, the snow was still falling. The elderly couple awoke and found that the young woman had prepared food and cleaned their home. She took care of them and made them very happy. Eventually, the young woman asked if she could stay with the couple forever and live as their daughter. They happily agreed. One day, the young woman asked the elderly woman to go to town to buy some simple cotton yarn so that she could weave some cloth. When the elderly woman returned with the yarn, the young woman said, I am going to weave the most beautiful cloth you have ever seen and give it to you to sell. While I weave, you must never enter this room or watch me work. With that, she closed the door. For three days and three nights, the young woman did not emerge from her room. When she did, she held the most beautiful cloth the couple had ever seen. Take this to market, sell it, and buy more yarn. Keep the rest of the profits for yourself, the young woman said. The cloth quickly earned a reputation in town as being the most beautiful and strong, and selling it brought the couple great fortune. After selling the cloth, the elderly woman would buy more yarn and bring it to the young woman. The third time, the young woman shut herself in the room to weave. The elderly couple grew curious. How was the young woman able to make simple yarn into something so beautiful? Unable to contain her curiosity, the elderly woman peeked inside the room. What do you suppose the elderly woman saw? Share with your fellow listener. She discovered a crane sitting in front of the loom, plucking its own feathers and weaving them into the cloth with the yarn. The once beautiful bird had plucked so many of its feathers that it looked tattered and worn. The feathers made the cloth glimmer like the night sky. When the crane saw the elderly woman spying, she transformed back into the young woman. I intended to stay with you forever as your daughter, as thanks for saving my life, the crane woman said with sadness in her voice. But I cannot stay now that you know my true self. And with that, she became a bird once more and flew out the window, leaving the elderly couple with only a half-woven cloth and two hearts full of regret. So what lesson can be learned from the old couple in the crane? Share with your fellow listener. And now here comes Kalikan, orphan boy of the sky. Again, you're listening for the lesson that can be learned. Many years ago in Kenya, a solitary old man lived in a tiny hut. His back always ached and he struggled to tend to all his cattle and complete his chores each day. On one particularly difficult morning, the old man raised his arms to the sun and begged for assistance. The next morning, a strong young boy appeared at the old man's hut. Call me Kalikan, the strange boy said to the old man. I am an orphan. An orphan looking for a home. Will you allow me to look after your cattle in exchange for shelter and a soft bed? The old man enthusiastically agreed. There is only one condition, Kalikan said. I will only work in the morning and the evening and you must never watch me work. 
The old man thought this suspicious, but he desperately needed the boy and the help, and so he agreed. Despite his curiosity, the old man remained in his hut the next morning and did not peer out to see if the orphan boy had completed the promised chores. At noon, after the morning expired, the old man inspected his cattle. To his surprise and delight, he discovered a herd of lowing, well-fed cattle. Kalikan had finished his work in record time and left the cattle contented. The days and weeks passed and Kalikan's help quickly made the old man rich. The cattle grew fat and earned a high price at market. The old man now spent his days resting his sore feet and back, which were tired from years of hard work. Yet, while the cattle grew fat and blissful, the old man grew greedy and curious. How could Kalikan possibly do so much work with much speed? He suspected that Kalikan was using magic. If so, the old man reasoned then that he could force Kalikan to use more magic to earn more money. Each afternoon, the old man approached Kalikan and asked to observe him the next morning. He claimed that he wanted to brag of Kalikan's strength to the men of the village, but Kalikan continued to insist his work would cease if he were watched. The old man's curiosity and greed grew too strong. He thought the orphan boy was bluffing and had nowhere else to go. And so one morning, the old man rose with the sun. He hid himself behind a wide bio tree within sight of the herd and waited until he saw Kalikan approaching. When the orphan boy started to feed the cattle, his arms moved so quickly that the old man only saw a blur. What do you think is going to happen now? Share with your fellow listener. Then, suddenly, Kalikan stopped and spun around to face the old man. Disappointment flickered in his face. Without a word and in a blinding flash, Kalikan turned into a beam of light and shot up into the sky. The old man saw the light take its place in the sky next to the sun. Kalikan was gone. Unable to appreciate a gift from the gods, the old man was left poor and alone once more. As soon as the orphan boy left, the cattle grew skinny and the old man's new wealth disappeared. And each morning when he dragged himself outside to take care of his cattle, he saw the star that once was Kalikan, watching, but never again helping. So what is the lesson to be learned, not only in this tale, but also what do the two tales have in common with regard to their lessons? Share all with your fellow listeners. And this marks the end of today's edition of Literacy Corner. Another is coming soon. It will be equally magical.